I know there's a restricted section of the university. You think the students never notice who comes and goes? It does not matter what you may have seen or heard before you graduated overseer. That is not my concern. Oh, I see one of your residents has arrived. Come here. We need to discuss this ridiculous request of yours. The overseer mentioned there would be more people coming. Assuming there even is a restricted section, and I am not verifying that, neither of you have Bolton University credentials. Faculty and staff determine who goes where in this university, not former students. I might be the only human being connected to this place that's still alive. My authority doesn't override yours? No, it does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. The condition of the outside world is not my problem. I see neither of you are going to relent very well. There is a problem you can help me with. This university needs graduates. And while your overseer has already been through the program, you are living and breathing enough to join this year's class. This is ridiculous. Even if we had four years to waste, which we don't, the university is empty. There's no professors anymore. Emergency protocols allow the Mr. Handy janitorial staff to run entrance straight through to the final exam. Their ability to run the ball simulation is experimental, but more than adequate for the task. Glad we agree in this test scenario. Your ball has divided into factions. You must resolve the conflict any way you see fit. Your chief of security will fill you in on the details. Good luck. I'm not familiar with this test scenario. Professor Bott must have come up with it on his own. Oh, it's right there. Not today.
Lewis here. Heck of a boiling pot you're stepping into. A little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. There was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineers apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. Because of what happened next, Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Qua Still need to talk about this row between engineering and medical. There was a react. That's not the worst. Dr. Loras, head engineer Brass, accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. No. There's no evidence, no weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss over this here. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. I'll be here if you need me, Overseer. Seer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. Very well. As long as you take all the necessary precautions. Here. Dr. Loris' assistant. I snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman, but there's not enough power. The reactor is going to go critical. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it, but the radiation is going to get us. At least the vault will be safe. Do you have a question, Overseer? You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Let's take a listen, then. So she wasn't murdered. She was trying to save Kellerman. Two of them ended up saving us all. 
This is big news, Overseer. We take this to Brass and Loras, it could end the infighting for good. At once, Overseer! Everyone, gather in the common area! We have an important announcement from the Overseer. What's this about, Robinson? I have charts to update. Maybe the Overseer's finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough! The Overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This holotape proves she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They... worked together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I... actually agree with you there. So that's it then? No more arguing? You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. appears you passed the test, barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Yes, I suppose we had a deal. You are officially a graduate of Vaulted University, entitled to access to all areas. Back down in the vault, simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good you to see you again, TV Professor Bard. Yes, overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program you <laughs> must be proud actually i am Attention, this is now a combat zone. You may suffer.
future. That is why vault has been commissioned to build a different and very real vault. Named for the atomic number of the metal it will guard, Vault 79 will be the new home for all of America's gold reserves. Fort Knox will secretly be retired and emptied. Its gold bullion transported to the new vault, where it will be safe behind vault Tech's top-of-the-line automated security. Biometric recognition to verify authorized personnel. Sophisticated laser grid fields to ward off intruders. And, in the unlikely event of a breach, military-grade defensive turret systems built in partnership with our friends at Robco. All of this, along with vault signature Z-Line containment walls, airtight construction, fusion power generators, and automated manufacturing facilities. Vault 79, a golden future for the America we all know and love. Brought to you by Vault Tech. For once, the rumor mill gets it right. There is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. Even getting into the vault at all is going to be a challenge. Let alone dealing with that buffet line of intrusion countermeasures. But the reward? Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight, but one day we could have leverage to create a new economy. Property rights, taxes, laws, a government. We won't be able to do it alone. We need help. Even more importantly, we need people to buy in. To see that gold is their future. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. Not my first pick, but it's hard to argue with your point. Do me a favor. Talk to them both. Get all the options on the table. I'm all for taking what ain't mine. You know, looks like your little inoculation worked like a charm. We've established your usefulness, but don't mistake our gratitude for hospitality. Yet here you are. What tells me you're not here just to waste my time? You want something. It must be important, else you wouldn't be barging in here like you run the place. 
Out with it. Well, if that don't pique my interest, please go on. What exactly, pray tell, is inside this Vault 79? This is a fascinating turn of events, ain't it? The things I could buy with that gold. You know, I've heard rumors about it round here. Of course, the last sucker who tried to use the location of the Trove as a bargaining chip is still dangling from a wire outside as we speak. Liars get wires, you dig? So let's pretend for a moment I don't believe it. What you got to convince me? This place is way above my sun level. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. Always be upgrading. That's what Aerith said. She did smart with her mm, You ain't wrong. Getting into one of them vaults sure would set us up for a while. Shit. You know I could just kill you and take this, right? You got a lot to learn before you can roll with us, 7-6. <laughs> oh, I like the cut of your jib. Maybe there is hope for you. Toss it up on the board and let's see what you got here. If I hear any complaints on that nuka... I'm sending them your way. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Seems pretty legit. I assume you're coming to me because we got the skills to get into this here vault. But you know, we ain't gonna do this out of the goodness of our hearts, baby doll. Oh no, no. I'm gonna expect a significant cut of the goods inside. So we're gonna have ourselves an agreement here, see? I supply the people power, you supply the location. We all get inside, we nap the goods, you get a nice fair little cut, and we all make out like bandits, you dig? I don't know, 50% of whatever we take in? Now remember who's gonna do all the heavy lifting in there. If the treasure's half as good as you say, it should be more than enough to set you up for life. And if you impress me enough, maybe you get to roll with us. That is, as long as you're cool with people calling you a raider. It only took nothing can get to us. Did you ever see a cork for a kitchen sink with an alligator? Yeah? Well, I'd like my mama back from the dead in a world that ain't burn up like a post-nuclear turkey dinner. We don't always get what we want. Look, I know it ain't what you want to hear, but maybe you get a little bonus if you prove you're worth it, all right? So, first things first. We gotta have a plan to crack that big-ass vault door wide open, right? Easy peasy, light and breezy. That's a job for Lucky Lou, our demo expert. If he can't explode it, then it ain't from this earth. Now, uh, Lou can be a real shut-in, on account of his, uh, skin condition. But I trust him more than just about anybody. Why don't you go see him in his room down below? Introduce yourself, fill him in on the plan, then do whatever prep work he needs you to do, you dig? Right on, 7-6. Do your thing. Just try to keep this on the down low, all right? I don't want the entire camp knowing what's going on yet. Only tell who I say to tell, you dig? You come to me all in a hurry. Now you're taking your sweet-ass time hanging around here. I don't get you, 7-6. Get out of my 